Hi guys, Barb here with barbstamps.com and in today's video we're going to use the window shopping bundle to make a card rather than the really cool box that the bundle was designed for. We've also got some Falling in Love Designer Series paper in the back and we've got some washi tape from the Tasty Treats package. So let's get started. Okay guys, here we are. We're going to create this card today and um, this is one of the cards that my Big Shot at Home gals received in their packets this month. This particular project uses the Window Shopping Bundle, which is a set of dies that actually was designed to create uh, boxes, these little um, hexagon boxes, very cool. This is one that I've kind of uh, been working on. And then I did use the Inside the Lines Designer Series paper. I just cut some chunks out of it and just added them to the side of my box just to kind of give it a little bit of pizzazz. So that's what, the, that's what this bundle was designed to do, was create the boxes, and then you can die cut out the little designs out of the sides if you want, or the design out of the top like I just showed you. You've got some little basket images, a tag, um, just a lot of fun stuff in here. So today we're, we're making a card, so we're going to use uh, this piece here, and we're also going to use the little basket die, okay? The stamp set has um, images that you could stamp on the side panels of your boxes. So you could stamp uh, these images on the side panels. This large image here is designed to go right across the top of the box. So is the happy birthday. Uh, we've got some other little items here. So just a fun bundle makes a super cute box. So we're going to start out by die cutting our piece of very vanilla with this large uh, die right here. So I'll bring my big shot in. Okay, so I've got my uh, precision base plate, my thin die adapter, and my big shot platform this is my standard sandwich that I use here. Lay my vanilla card stock. I like to lay my dies more to the edge. I find that there's more pressure on the edges of the die or edges of the roller than there is in the middle. So this is a pretty big die. So I'm going to just lay this on here and you'll notice that I have it uh, so that it's flush with the edges of the card stock. I'm not putting it on the diagonal. Um, for this particular card, it works better if you uh, put it on like this. So I just want to kind of uh, have a little bit of room at the top and then side to side we're going to have that equal. Let me get my cutting pad. Got my clear cutting pad here that we're just going to lay over the top and then we're going to just send this through the Big Shot machine. All right, take that off. Bring in my foam mat here and my dye brush. Get all these little pieces out. This dye brush does work pretty dang good, I must say. Okay, so we've just got a few little guys left. I'm just going to easily poke those out with my scissors, and then we'll get on with the rest of the project here. Okay, so here's this piece here. I've also got a 3x3 three three piece of designer series paper. This comes from the Falling in Love designer series paper package, and it's just got some really fun patterns in here, kind of uh, soft, um, some really good combinations. So we're going to use this kind of uh, blurred image, and I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive to the back of my card here. Just around the die cut image a little bit. Maybe a few little dots on the inside here. And then I'm just going to add that piece of paper right over the die cut part. Okay, so that's what we have from the front side. Now we need to create our little basket. And if you can see on the basket, I think you can, there's um, some diagonal lines on here. There are no dies that will create that, but we're going to create that ourselves before we actually cut it out. And we're going to use the Simply Scored tool for that. Simply Scored tool here, and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. All right, so I've just got a piece of cardstock here that I'm going to lay onto the tool. And I'm going to score this every three eighths of an inch, okay? So we've got one, two, three from the end. Go back to that line, one, two, three, score it. One, two, three, score, one, two, three. All right, I'll just speed this up now for you. Okay, so I've got three eighths inch lines that way. I'm gonna rotate it, put that up at the top again, and I'm gonna do it again all along this edge. Okay, so we'll speed that up again. Okay, so we've got a nice grid pattern here every three eighths of an inch, and now we're gonna cut our basket out. Okay, so we've got our piece. Now I'm going to lay this basket on this scrap on the diagonal, okay? So the base of the basket, this inside line here, is actually going to be placed along where these lines connect, okay? 
So I'm just going to lay that on there so that it's across those lines diagonally, just like so. I'm going to lay it on my platforms here. Oops. Get my cutting pad on. And then we'll bring this through. Okay, and so when I get that out, you can see that it actually, the die actually makes this nice flat border all array around the whole basket. Plus we've got that really cool diagonal um, pattern on the inside. I also need to cut one more piece with this basket die. I just need the top of it with some soft suede. So I want the basket to pop off the page just a little bit. Okay, so we need this little piece. Okay, so we've got the basket and then we've got our little backing piece. So I'm gonna glue these together. Add a little bit of glue along this top of the basket here. Bring in this other color and then we're just gonna layer those together just enough so that we have a little bit of soft suede peeking out the top. Bring our main piece back in and I'm gonna add some dimensionals to the back of the basket. Got a, some dimensionals right here. Some of those edge pieces. And then you're just going to add the basket to the bottom of the die cut area here. Okay, the next thing we need to do is add some washi tape along the bottom. I'm going to bring in my silicone mat and I've got the Tasty Treats washi tape here and I'd like to keep my, uh, well, this is a tip for you actually, I like to keep my washi tapes on a book ring and that way I know which ones go together. Okay, very simple. I'm going to kind of zoom in just a little bit so you can see how I put this on here. It's not that difficult, but I'm going to use this crumb cake pattern here. It's also got the diagonal um, squares, just like I did with the basket. So that's going to kind of make the whole thing tie in together. I'm just going to put this right along the edge. And I like to use my silicone mat so that when I get to the edges, and obviously the washi tape is a little longer, when I go to tear it off, it doesn't actually stick on anything except... Um, because the silicone mat allows it to release. So then we can just put that to the back of the card. Okay, now we've got a layer of soft suede that we're gonna add this to. Add some adhesive to it. Okay, got that done. Now we've gotta get our greeting stamped. So we've got a little strip of Blushing Bride here. We've got the Thinking of You stamp from the window shopping bundle and then I'm just going to ink that up with some soft suede ink. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in my triple banner punch. I'm going to slide them. You can see that it's too small but it doesn't matter. As long as I throw it in the middle of the track it's going to look good. So I'm actually going to look at it from the back side and I don't actually want to go all the way to the end, I don't think, so I'm going to push it to the end so I can see that it's in the center right here. I can tell that my banner is centered. I'm just going to bring it back just a little bit. Okay, and then we're just going to add some adhesive to the back of this. Bring in our layer. I'm just going to kind of put it right to the edge of the soft suede and just a little bit over the washi tape. Okay. And then we've got our main card base, which is the Blushing Bride. And I'm just going to bring in the last few bits of dimensionals off this particular sheet. Get those on there. And then we'll get that onto the card. And then our final step will be to add some sequins for just a little bit of bling. I always love adding sequins to things. It's just... You can kind of tell the difference here. This is the card that I did already. This is the one that we're going to do, we're doing right now. And the sequins just add something. So we're going to bring in our Blushing Bride sequin trim. I'm going to pull three little sequins off the strand here. And I like to use my liquid glue for this. So I'm just going to add three little dots of glue. 
And then I've got a little bamboo skewer here that I have a little tiny bit of poster putty on the end of this, just so because it's a little bit sticky. And again, I have no nails. I've told you guys that a few times. So this allows me to pick up these little sequins and then I can add them where I want them without having too much trouble with my uh, non-fingernails. Okay, and that's it. Pretty simple card, but I just love how it turned out. So again, my big shot gals are going to hopefully love making this card at home. And if you guys need supplies to create your own fun cards at home, you can always go to my website, shoppingwithbarb.com, to get all your Stampin' Up! supplies. And as always, I ask you, if you like the video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up. That's wonderful. Comments are always appreciated. Have a wonderful day.